beating down his road And I know it's far from flawless You'll be coming home Greetings Gemstones, Templeton Pigs Taylor here, and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Gems, where today we do the fourth and final part of my PlayStation Classic review. And this video is going to be all about this little flash drive right here. Oh my god, another PlayStation Classic review about another flash drive. Is that really a surprise? Do I need to sit around and watch this? Is it even worth it by now? Can it, Mark? Just sit your ass down and watch the damn video, okay? Now, without further ado, let's go see what this little guy is all about. Follow me. <clears throat> Bit of a late cut there, but uh, here is my surprise, Gemstones. I have the auto bling theme on uh, my PlayStation Classic on a 32 gigabyte flash drive. And as you can see, it says, please connect gamepad to the PlayStation Classic. People would do normal gamepads to the PlayStation Classic, but I've decided to do a Logitech with analog sticks to my PlayStation Classic. Let me plug this bad boy in. I'm going to hit the A button, which would normally be the X button, to scan all of my games. And I'm going to hit start. And voila, as you can see, it shows all games, 65 games, right? I'm going to get out of this really quick, though. I'm going to head to the menu. So we have uh, the English language. Oh, there we go. The regular theme that we're seeing. The regular menu theme, uh, the cover style says normal clean, which is the way you just saw. There's music. I want to show the internal games as well as the games that I put on it. I did put it on widescreen. I like widescreen over the uh, standard 4x30. Uh, the quick boot, I don't like that because I like seeing the auto bling menu and then hitting start. Excuse me, sorry guys. Um, you know, and of course the background music which is playing, a filter, retro art. I don't have any retro art games on this, nothing retro at all, and I'll explain to you why in a later video. And then the advanced option, I love that because you hit L2 and R2 and that'll turn it off. And then the timeout, I have it at zero. As you saw a minute ago, that shows the actual games that are in here. So, as you can see again, all 65 games. I've added 44 games. Uh, to my PlayStation Classic. Uh, well, 45, I have 65. Um, again, we've got the in-game ones that I'm gonna go through them, so Battle Arena Toshinden, Blaster Master, Blasto, love Blasto growing up, Bugs and Bunny and Taz, Time Buzzers. This is a co-op game where they have to go in time, and there is actual voice acting in it, which is really cool. Chaos Break, this is a PAL region only game. It only came out in Europe. And I've got it on mine because my PlayStation Classic is region free. Chocobo Dungeon 2, of course, Cool, Bo Cor cool Borders 2, Croc, Legend of Gabo, like I mentioned, the other one had Croc 2, not the original one. Um, again, there's a custom game space, does absolutely nothing if you hit it. Goes right back to this. There's Oops, Game Crash, there's no resume point. Again, Destruction Derby, I had a Disney Tigger's Honey Hunt. Dragon Ball GT Final Bout. Didn't have very much room left on my system, so that's why I did this one. Um, Dragon Valor, Eher Guys, Eternal Eyes, Fighting Force, Final Fantasy IX, Seven, of course, Brother 2, Grand Theft Auto, Heart of Darkness, Intelligent Cube, Jade Cocoon, Story of Tama Moriah. I can't remember, but very fun game. Of course, Jumping Flash, Cardia. Cool Delka, Mad Stalker Full Metal, this is a Japanese title only. Marvel vs. Capcom, this is a shout out to Justin. Justin, I have it on my flash drive from Autoblame, but unfortunately this game is not on the meth pack. But, how you doing Justin? Shout out to you. And your wife, Jirai. How's the missus? 
Hope she's doing well. We've got Mega Man 8 and Mega Man Legends 2. Again, I'm a Mega Man fan, as you guys know, so of course I'm going to add those onto my system. Metal Gear Solid, Adventures of Tron Bond, Misadventures of Tron Bond, Miss Spider's Tea Party, again, another one for the little one, Monkey Magic, a platformer that kind of you can switch screens back and forth, uh, Mr. Driller, Oddworld Ape's Odyssey, another Japanese only, Panzer Bandit, uh, Pocket Fighter, Ridge Racer Type 4, Rayman, Resident Evil Director's Cut, Persona, Revelations, um, we've also got Rival Schools. I've got both discs on here. This is the story mode right here, and this one is the evolutionary mode. So these are two different games on two different discs. Uh, Silhouette Mirage, got Street Fighter EX2+, Plus, Super Puzzle Fighter 2, of course, Siphon Filter, Trag, Tactical Rescue Assault Group. Tacos really are great is another fun name I like to say about it. Actually, I got that from someone else's video. I don't remember exactly, but I will uh, mention it in the comments below. Uh, Tale Concerto Destiny. Tales of Destiny 2 actually is Tales of Eternia. In America, they had to change it to Tales of Destiny 2 because Eternia was too uh, affiliated with He-Man and they didn't want to get any kind of copyright strikes. So the original Tales of Destiny 2 came out on PS2, Japan only. Um, or no, it may have came out on PS2 in, in America as well. I have to look that up, check it out. But this is actually Tales of Eternia, but it had to be Tales of Destiny 2. Uh, Techno Mage, another PAL Region 1 as well. Uh, Tekken 3, Adventures of Lomax, Big Water Adventure, Land Before Time, Thousand Arms, Threads of Fate, Tiny Toon Adventures, Plucky's Big Adventure, Tobol Number 1. This is the American version. I just put the Japanese title on the screen because I like that one better than the original. Of course, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Tarenko, which is a Dragon Warrior spin-off type of game. And of course, Twisted Metal 2, Wild 9, I enjoyed this game very much. Of course, the very first RPG I ever played, Wild Arms. And finally, Xenogears, because I finally wanted to finish this game. I only got to the second disc. Now we are back at the very beginning of the roster. And one thing I want to show you is if you look at the actual information, it says uh, two players, one disc, PlayStation SD, and it has a little lock on it. If you go to the ones that I've done, you'll see it does say USB, so it was added to the USB. It is in high definition. It is an, an unlocked game, and there's a thumbs up, because I favorited the game. What's also really neat is that it also, if you look at the game, like, let's go to Final Fantasy 7. It says it is a three-disc game. The original menu doesn't even show that, which is pretty cool. Final Fantasy 9 says it's only one. Now, a game that I am working on is actually Thousand Arms, and I'm going to scan to that one really quick scroll to that one I mean now this one is also a two disc game as well um, I'm trying to play through this one to see if you can switch to the second disc because everything I've read up on says you just have to hit the open button but it doesn't show it on the system now if you had bleem sync and you did a, the internal hack then it would show the two discs there's a way to do that um, but on this one it only shows one so I'm hoping that when I get to the end of disc one and it says hit disc two all I gotta do is hit the open button. I will try to update, uh, give you guys an update on that as soon as I am able to get to it. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that is my full roster that I have here that you shows on the original games that are built in, that it does show three games. Metal Gear Solid does show two discs on there. Um, let's go back to the beginning again. And I actually wanna go through the menu now, so let's go check this out here. So we're gonna hit select. And we're going to go through the auto bleem themes. Now there's this bio redux one. That's really cool. That's just the front cover. That's really awesome. Um, you have the original default. You have this one again. Uh, Stranger Bleems. My wife is going to love this one when she sees it. It's really cool because my wife is a big fan of Stranger Things. So we'll just leave it on the Stranger Bleems one right now. Um, also, there's in-game menus. We've got Breath of Fire 3. And we can also go to the Breath of Fire 3 music as well. Check this out. So when I hit start... It shows the entire menu in Breath of Fire 3. How cool is that? So 
the settings is the save statue, the game is the actual treasure box, the memory card is an actual memory book from the game, and then the resume is the actual menu itself. When you go to this, it just has a bunch of pencil, it has a pencil, but that's what that looks like. Um, and if you go to the settings, you know, the in-game stuff, you know, the high resolution, I don't know. Oh, I can't do it because that's, uh, but, um, let's go to something like Blaster Master. So if you can do that to the high resolution, you can change the scan lines, the clocking speed, the frame rate, and things like that, and that menu. That's pretty cool. I've got a couple others. Let's go with uh, Crash Team Racing. And as you heard, um, yeah, it sounds exactly like Crash Team Racing, see? It's got the selection sounds. It's really cool. I like how they have the customization uh, theme on it. I like how uh, everything looks like Crash. Um, I've got a couple others. Let's check out this Final Fantasy one. I've got two Final Fantasy ones actually. Here's this first one. And I love how it, uh, it has the sounds again. And everything looks just like it. Again, it's all just pencils usually. Um, but I still love how it has it has that. And I chose the gold saucer music for mine. I'm gonna go to see. This is the other Final Fantasy one I've got. And uh, I like how this one has Cloud Sword, says Cloud, Limit Break, Level 1, Next Level. Um, the memory card has an actual finger though, and everything looks like red material, which is kind of cool. I like how they did that. Um, let's go to... Let's go to the Mortal Kombat theme. I'll show you that one. It says Finish Him under there. It's got the actual thing. Again, another pencil, nothing specific. But it's got the menu here. And I chose, yes, I chose the old school Mortal Kombat theme music. And we have a Tomb Raider one. Again, I like how the setting shows that. The passport, the Diamond, and I love how the resume is a photo. Remember uh, the photos in that game? That was really cool. I like how they did that one. This one's an interesting, like the Crash Bandicoot one, so it's got like little where the games are gonna go and a little slot in between. To the Wild Arms one. This is actually from Wild Arms Code F, which is really neat. Um, Again, the memory card slot looks just like that. It's just a pencil. Um, but these are the actual, this is the actual font of them. I think it's really cool. The picture, again, like I said, it's from uh, Code Alter F on PS2. I wish they would have had hand pan in there, honestly, on Jack's shoulder. I think they do on the original picture, but this is just how they set it up for. But um, I really love that. I loved adding the music to it to give it more of a, a feel and a theme of the actual game itself. Uh, and then the final one we're going to show you is going to be this one. This one is my favorite theme out of all of them. Um, it is Wild, it is uh, Kingdom Hearts. Um, I love how the background looks, so it's really cool. Um, I did choose uh, <clears throat> um, Face My Fears from... Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. I didn't like the song very much at first, but it ended up growing on me over time. Um, one thing I want to show you is, is the memory card. It's a, it's the, the Kingdom key. That is really, really cool. And yes, you do have two memory cards in here. This is really, really neat. Um, I thought that all of this was really amazing. I love how you can add all these games to it, you know. It just makes it look... I love adding the themes to it. It's so much fun. Um, now let's see, let's go to a more, uh, oops, let's do, uh, but this is one that's more, 
upbeat, more easy to uh, go with. Um, so now that you saw all the games that I have, what I want to do is I actually want to give you examples of these games that are uh, from other regions. So let's start out with Chaos Break. Again, as we all know, a lot of these games are PAL region based anyways, but these are ones that are specifically uh, only in those regions. So let's check out Chaos Break really quick here. Um, yeah, check that out. That's the opening, uh, not the opening scene, but uh, digital entertainment. So. Ah, uh, there you go, a little bit more comfortable. And again, sorry for the lighting guys, you know, but I mainly want to show you off these videos here and these games. Love that opening sequence. That's really cool. You get to choose between two characters, Matuki or Rick. I'll just do a Matuki one really quick. She agrees with it, so there you go. And I'm not gonna show everything, of course. You know, I just wanna, I just wanna really like jump into the gameplay. Um, I like showing the openings because a lot of these have really neat openings, but... Um, there's definitely reviews online, uh, so you can definitely check those out. So again, like I said, I'm trying to skip through all this just to show you how the game actually plays and that it does run, and it runs very fast. It does run at the 60 frames per second. There is no slowdown at all. There's there are melee attacks here, and there are guns. In this game, apparently, you're supposed to really reserve your uh, your guns. So um, you want to use melee attacks, and as you just saw, you get energy packs from dead bodies, very Metal uh, Gear Solid like. And because it is on widescreen, you don't see everything on the screen, but there's enough to see what's going on and what you have, your life, your weapons, uh, things like that. But as you see, it runs very smooth. The camera doesn't always catch up. Um, there's your, your attack, your, uh, your melee. Again, looks like it's a very fun game to play. Let's uh, jump over to another one right now. I love how everything is in alphabetical order as well, so it's very easy. Mad Stalkers is a Japanese beat em up game. So let's check that one out really quick. One thing I think is interesting is that how the Europe one will say that it's Europe, and the Japanese one do not say that they're in Japanese whatsoever. So, made by FamilySoft. Never heard of them, to be honest with you. Um, Phil for Cafe, from Cafe. I think they're the ones that also did Panzer Bandit, if I remember correctly, but I don't know too much for sure um, takes place in 2142 AD and I just want to show you this quick scene right here totally uh, old school uh, like SNES type graphics I love that picture right there but I'm gonna again like I said I'm gonna skip ahead to the gameplay you gotta hit circle to confirm on the Japanese based game which is interesting Now what's great about the Japanese games is that every button does something. And these are, even has ranged weapons, like you have a gun that's a ranged weapon. Up is to jump, down is to duck. And as you can see, I'm getting my butt whooped right now. 
but it's a co-op two-player game, very fun. You can dash, you can beat up the enemies with a, a combo type of attack, it's pretty cool. Interestingly enough, how the, uh, I like how the explosions are too in this game, it's pretty fun. But there you go, we got some gameplay there. Let's get to a uh, couple more games. Ah, and here's Panzer Bandit, the one I mentioned earlier. One thing that's really neat about this game is that it has a really nice opening cutscene as well. So I definitely want to show that off, so let's check this out. I won't say a word, don't want to interrupt anything. I want you guys to enjoy it. Ah, oh, see, look at that film from Cafe or Four Cafe. Gotta love the beat. Yeah. Bandito. Now again, this game is completely in Japanese, so I'm just gonna cut through all the dialogue and go straight to the gameplay. <clears throat> I feel like it's Mega Man, Dr. Light saying, Wily is at it again. You need to deploy, defeat these robots to save the world. But they just look way cooler. Now, I'm not very good at this game, so sorry guys if it looks like I'm getting my butt kicked all the time. What I love about these Japanese beat em up games is that every single one of them has, every single button has some kind of ability to it, you know? You can switch sides, as you just saw me do right there, and the enemies will switch sides with you, that's pretty cool. Again, it's your typical jump button is up and ducking is down. I just love the animation, I love the way it looks, I love how I have this little robot with you. Uh, it's a very fun two-player beat-em-up game. Definitely, uh... Oh, you can throw them in the mid-air. That's pretty cool. Man, I'm getting my butt kicked. So, there is Panzer Bandit. Uh, again, another fun beat-em-up game. And one more we want to try to get to is this one, Techno Mage. Again, another one that was PAL region only. Um, it did not come out here in the States at all. <clears throat> and the interesting, like I said, if I, I think I said it already, but PAL region games, the confirmation is square. Japanese games a circle. And here in America, it's the X or cross button. This one here also has an interesting, has an interesting opening, but it also like, 
does this one little thing that I think is kind of funny right when they explain what happens. Pretty interesting there. Wow, what in the world was that? An earthquake or a nightmare? Wild monster that attacked me, and the earth shook. I pressed the action button to scroll through dialogues or to read it. Use the appropriate buttons to rotate your field of view in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. This should help with getting your bearings. I love how it immediately goes in the game and he's like, what's going on? That's great. And then he goes, oh, by the way, I'm going to break the fourth wall by telling you exactly how you got to play the game. <laughs> um, the control scheme on this is actually really good. Again, you, uh, uh, you hit the square button to confirm stuff. Uh, select pulls up your menu. Then you select again. Doesn't, uh, or it takes it away again. Square button is the action button. It runs very smooth. It's not slow or anything else at all. The controls are responsive. Um, there's quite a bit of voice acting in this game as well. Uh, it's pretty neat. I like how they have that, you know. Um, haven't gotten too much into it. I love that opening cutscene. It also seems a little Star Wars-esque type of thing with them as like uh, the people riding on Tauntauns. That's immediately what I thought when I first saw this. Um, but yeah, it runs very smoothly. The uh, gameplay is more of an action-oriented type of thing. But I mainly just wanted to show you that they actually, the games actually run, is what I mainly wanted to do. So, um, again, it explains uh, how you can check stuff out. It's 11 in the morning, apparently. Um, to locate your position, click your SR1. Or I think these are save spots right here. Hmm. Nothing to do. There's nothing. There's nothing to do. Resume game options. Okay, well, I'll have to figure this out a little bit later. So like I said, I'm hitting the confirm, the confirm button, and we're just square, nothing's happening, so. But like, it's just, it runs very smoothly. Um, oh, save and load, press square to open this menu. Oh, there you go, and that's how you can save it. Okay. So, we'll exit out of this one, and... So, there you go. Those are my region-free games I want to give examples of. Just showing them how they run, that they do run. Um, this is my PlayStation Classic, in a nutshell, with the auto-blame... With the auto-blame uh, hack, again. It's the soft mod hack, hack, not the hard mod hack. 
Um, I love how they have all these themes here. I love how you can add games to it. Um, the one thing I don't know as of yet is I'm playing Thousand Arms here, and I've read up on ways on how to get to disc two with um, Auto Blame, and they say if you put everything in the same folder, that it actually will switch over. I haven't read anything up on it since then. I don't know how to work it. I can't find any videos on it. If you guys can find any videos on how to switch over an auto blame from disc one to disc two, because this is a two disc game, but as you can see, it only shows one disc on there. So if you guys have any ways of knowing that, definitely let me know, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, but I love what I've done with my PlayStation Classic. This feels like my PlayStation Classic. These are games that I've had. I've played a lot of games that I haven't played, a lot of games I hadn't finished playing, um, a lot of you know, two-player games, co-op games, Japanese games, PAL games, um, fighting games. Um, I feel like I've really made this my own in a huge roster of different uh, genres, platformers, um, uh, side-scrollers, you know, definitely uh, enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed watching this as much I enjoyed showing it to you I love the themes I love the fact you can add music to it and actually if you if I were to tell you uh, I have 40 megabytes left on my flash drive so unless I can find something that is less than that then I have basically filled this thing up with everything that I pretty much can um, I am happy to show you this was my surprise this is my part four i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed all the examples and i will let you guys go so you can uh see what else i have to say holy cow i have not seen a playstation classic review like that i am completely flabbergasted by all the content you have on your system. My mind is completely blown. Wow. Thanks, Mark. And as you guys can see, then, I have made this PlayStation Classic my very own by adding all of my content to this little guy right here. This feels like my personal PlayStation Classic. It feels like my original PlayStation back in 1997 when I got it. And I am loving everything about this. I've put down those genres of platformers. I've got RPGs. I've got fighting games on there. I've got games that are only from Japan and Europe on there. Um, I know there's a lot of other uh, awesome titles I could have added to it, but these are the ones that I wanted to play. These are the ones that I wanted to relive. I love everything that I've done. I love how I've made this thing so much my own system that this feels like it is now a part of my nostalgic childhood. I love everything I've done to this. And if you want to do auto blame, definitely go for it. I totally recommend it. If you want to go with blame sync, definitely do that too. That is a great choice also to hack your system the way you want to do it. This is just what I want it. And I love this PlayStation Classic system. I love the meth pack stick, the crackhead pack stick, you know, the original 20. I've shown you guys the original 20 and how I like it because it's such a different set of content. I've proved to you guys that the sticks have 101 games on them with the crackhead pack. The meth pack also has 101 games on it. I've put 44 additional games on this little guy right here because a lot of them are multi-disc. I am trying to test out that theory, but I Love this PlayStation Classic system. I cannot say that enough It is something great and if it's something that you would like to get Then definitely grab one definitely hack the bad boy There's nothing wrong with putting on stuff that you want to relive Now before I take off, I do want to let you guys know that my schedule for work has changed and I now am working overnights and my days off are going to be different as well. So unfortunately, I will not be able to post every other Wednesday now. I will be posting still.
But as soon as I get my schedule figured out and the best times to do the reporting, you'll definitely still see me on this channel, just at a little bit of a different, different time. Uh, as soon as I get my days off figured out and everything else situated, I will definitely post a brand new video. So please just be a little bit patient with me, you know. I will see you guys in the next video. And gemstones, stay shiny for me. Thank you for watching. And if you like what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see my latest videos. As for my next, I'm going to do my first hidden gem, which is Batten Kaidos, Eternal Wings, and the Lost Ocean. Have yourselves a great day, guys.